The local cosmetics industry is at an infantile stage, presenting a huge opportunity for investment. Suzy Wakabi is the founder of Suzy Beauty, the first Kenyan makeup line which was early this year, acquired by Flame Tree Group right at the pinnacle of its success. Take a look. Suzy Wakabi has always had a passion for fashion. Having lived and worked in the U.S. as a makeup artist for over 10 years, she returned to Kenya to start her own business. So I worked as a makeup artist in media, so for media houses, for the magazines and all that. And, you know, I came with a big suitcase full of product to work with. And a year into it, started running out of product, realized that I need to replenish, and just could not find where to buy great quality, affordable product. Um, so I saw the state of the cosme local cosmetics industry and like saw a huge gap because all the products were imported, there was nothing local, there was nothing readily available, and there was nothing affordable for good quality. And so I decided to create my own. Kenya's nascent makeup industry made it hard to convince banks and investors to buy into the business idea. This, however, did not slow her down as she sourced for financial support from her husband, who became her co-director. We put down our numbers and realized we need about $200,000 at the time to create the brand, the product, and launch it. So that was probably a, f a full year in, in, in the search for the right uh, investors, for, we, I mean, we talked to banks, and, and you know, at that time it was a complete concept. So talking to banks was kind of useless because I, I'm, I'm showing them a product tester that I haven't sold a single unit off. And they're like, how much money have you made? And I'm like, I, ha I need the money to make the money, so no, nothing yet. So they couldn't just not, I mean, nobody could understand that. So two investment groups that believed in the concept and myself invested and uh, we also got a, a loan from Chase Bank that helped, you know, the leftover money to, to get the product here and launch. Three years into the business, Suzy has developed 32 makeup products and launched nine product lines. All along, she has been looking for a partner who would help her scale up the business. So last year we were looking for a really good strategic partner. And that's what we spent most of our time doing last year. Because we've had um, equity partners, we've had debt partners, we've had you know, banks backing us. And it's just never gotten us to the level that we need to get to. So Suzy Beauty has established itself as a brand. Uh, we've established it as a, a, you know, a well-respected, well-taken-in brand. But that plateau level has to, uh, like, has to end at some point. And I just need to take it to the next level. And while her plan was to sell a small stake in the business, the interested partner, Flame Tree Group, a fast-moving consumer goods manufacturer in the country, headed by Harriel Bangera, wanted a full acquisition. I did not decide to get acquired. Um, we were looking for a good partner. We met Mr. Bangera, Harold, uh, in the middle of last year, around May. And I never forgot about our very first meeting. We went quiet for a few months. As he went to think about our situation, we went to think about his situation because he said he wants a full acquisition. And I was like, oh, oh, it's a bit early for that, I feel like. You know, it's, we're only three years in the business. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But who knows? And so we all went to think slowly and quietly. Suzy Beauty and Flame Tree Group linked a deal in January of 2016, but the details of the acquisition remain undisclosed, pending an approval by the Competition Authority of Kenya. However, Susie has already assumed a new role in the business. Seven years later, this is the exact role that I've always wanted in the business that I've never been able to have, and it's Chief Creative Officer. I'm a pure creative at heart. I did this to create product. I did not do this to run a business and finances and deal with investors and lawyers and all that crazy stuff all day, every day. My husband, you know, did step in and take care of a lot of that stuff, but still, I was reeled in, you know, every single day to, to help and deal. So now I, I take care of what I am good at, which is product, PR, marketing, sales, making sure um, that our strategy can now be implemented finally. 
The immediate goal for the business after acquisition will be to manufacture the products locally. That was always my dream from the beginning. I was obviously hoping to locally manufacture and when it wasn't possible, I had to, you know, I, I deal with, you know, what I can do in order to have this product in the market. The ultimate goal, of course, is to manufacture locally. The Flame Group manufactures other cosmetic products locally. So I think that will be, you know, one of our near future goals is to figure out how to one day create this product in this country and have it stamped made in Kenya. And with the financial, manufacturing and distribution backing from Flame Tree Group, Susie hopes that her brands will finally scale beyond East Africa. Getting the brand to where I had hoped it could get to is always going to be my first priority. So building, building the, the, the brand, building the product line, growing our distribution. I want Suzy Beauty to be um, continent-wide as soon as possible. And then global, of course. Um, we, I mean, until now, we still get calls from the US and from Paris and from Norway, like crazy countries. Because people see the value of the product and, you know, people out there still want, you know, it's, it's for, it's, I've created this for the African woman. The African woman is everywhere in the world. So they're always looking for us. So to get this out there to as many people as possible, that's all, I, that's all I'm working on right now.